All right, so let's start with the big story that we are tracking on Vyond at this hour. The former Pakistani Prime Minister will resume his long march from Tuesday again. And the march, interestingly, will resume from Wazirabad, the same place where he was shot at on Thursday. Now, he was discharged from hospital earlier today, and he survived, remember, the assassination bid, but the controversy surrounding the filing of the FIR after the attack still continues to simmer. While addressing the media today, the PTR chief condemned the delays in the filing of the FIR. And FIR, remember, is just the first information report, and even that has not been filed in this assassination bid. Now, Ibrahim Khan has said that he's seeking a fair and a independent probe and that would not be possible so long as the three people that he's named as the key masterminds behind this assassination bid still continue to occupy the constitutional offices that they do. लेकिन उसके बावजूद अभी तक हम FIR रजिस्टर नहीं करवा पाए और FIR क्यों नहीं रजिस्टर कर करवा पाए क्योंकि वो कहते हैं जी प्राइम मिनिस्टर के लिए के खिलाफ तो ठीक है हम तैयार हैं इंटीरियर मिनिस्टर के लिए भी हम तैयार हैं लेकिन वो जो आर्मी ऑफिसर में जो जनरल फैसल है उसके लिए आप FIR करवा सकते हैं While well, Imran Khan is busy training his guns in the Pakistani Prime Minister, there seems to be deep divisions within the rank and file of his party. Now, the FIR has not been registered in the province of Punjab, where interestingly his party, the PTI, is in power. It is being reported that Imran Khan is insisting on naming a top army general to be included in the complaint. But the provincial government and also the police are reportedly very reluctant to do this. Now, Imran Khan has also claimed that someone is, of course, trying to cover up his assassination bid and that the credibility of Pakistan's justice system is now at stake. Now, the PTI chief's address comes after Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif announced that he will resign if there is even a shred of credible evidence that he was a part of the conspiracy to kill Imran Khan. Now, Imran Khan and Shabazz Sharif have been trading accusations of incompetence and corruption for months, but according to analysts, such a public accusation by Imran Khan and also the naming of the senior military officer has now pushed Pakistan into a pretty dangerous zone. Now, Imran Khan, remember, has so far offered no evidence to back his claims, which the government has dismissed as nothing more than lies and fabrications. Criticism of the military, which has ruled the country for roughly about half of its 75-year history, has always been a red line. But Imran Khan has been increasingly outspoken against the security establishment, with many saying that it was the military that had backed his original rise to power. تو یہ بھی جمہوری نظام کے لیے بھی خطرہ ہے اور ملک کے مستقبل کے لیے بھی خاص طور پر ترقی کی دوڑ کے حوالے سے کہ جب حکومتوں کی پالیسیاں جو ہیں ڈیپ اسٹیٹ کی نظر سے بننے لگ زیادہ بننے لگیں گی تو یہ غربت افلاس سیلاب یہ سارے معاملات پسے پڑتا چلے گا Now, Imran Khan, during his address, also raised the issue of Azam Swati. The senator of his party said that he had received an objectionable video featuring him and his wife. Imran Khan is seeking a probe into this matter as well. Prime Minister ke liye ke khilaf to thik hai hum tiyar hain. Interior Minister ke liye bhi hum tiyar hain. Lekin wo jo army officer. Now the Federal Investigation Agency of Pakistan has however declared that the video was fake. Clearly the tussle between Imran Khan and the ruling government is not going to end any time soon. All right, now to give us more updates in terms of what of course is happening with this controversy of the FIR not being filed in Pakistan or the assassination bid on Imran Khan, we're being joined in by our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik. Anas, it's almost baffling that this assassination attempt that took place last Thursday and there is still no FIR that has been lodged. 
Indeed it is. Uh, Imran Khan seems helpless. The government sees, seems helpless, despite the fact that his own party is a major coalition partner in the province of Punjab. They practically rule the province. They are, the, they are, they are supporting the chief minister of Punjab. And despite of that, uh, three days on, we yet to see the lodge of the FIR. Though just uh, today we saw that uh, that police have re has received an application uh, from the PTI uh, team uh, to file an FIR, but no FIR, the first information report, as we speak, has been launched. Uh, Imran Khan, while addressing a press conference, uh, showed his inability or helplessness as well, remarked on his helplessness that uh, how can, despite the fact that he is a former prime minister, he is not able to lodge a simple mere matter of the FIR. It seems to be that bone of contention because of the names that he wants to include, inclu including that of, uh, uh, of a serving uh, top military official. That seems to be that bone of contention. Uh, we've seen strong rebuttals coming in from the military side on Imran Khan's name calling. So that seems to be the bone of contention and that is the reason we saw that today the IG Punjab Faisal Shahkar, he's written to the establishment division of the federal government saying, asking him, asking them to relieve him of the charge, the Inspector General charge of Punjab uh, of police because he says that it is not for, it is not possible for him to continue due to quote unquote personal reasons. Saleh. Absolutely indeed. Now, you know, um, Anas, we've heard the press briefing in which Imran Khan put out those three names very categorically. And we also heard from the Pakistani Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif saying that if Imran Khan can present any credible evidence, then he will resign. So has Imran Khan put out any evidence on basis of which he has alleged that these three individuals are the ones who are behind the assassination bid? Well, Imran Khan says that uh, he has solid information and uh, that he says and he had made a mention about it that the information came from people who are uh, who are somewhat uh, uh, so somewhat uh, close to him within these agency or spy circles or uh, security spectrum and that is what uh, uh, that is something that is quite quite the underlying key word as i would put it uh, as we speak there has been no evidence circumstantial evidence that has been provided on the part of Imran Khan but he vows and he says uh, that an impartial inquiry needs to be held and as and when it is held then of course the evidence will pop up as well uh, he's welcomed the demand put forward by the Prime Minister of uh, an impartial judicial commission a full court ju judicial commission of the Supreme Court uh, to be precise uh, but he's asked that to 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 have this fulfilled the basic criteria is that the three people that he's been naming, the Interior Minister Rana Sanaula, the Prime Minister, and a senior military official, they resign. That is the first of the steps to ensure that a free, uh, that, that he believes that uh, a free and impartial uh, investigation into both the murder of Ashish Sharif and his assassination bid can be held. Saleh? All right, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed, Anas Malik, for joining us and getting us all those updates there. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.